Boise State University researchers are doing their part to wipe out an invasive species from Boise. Goat heads are known to pop bike tires and hurt dog paws. After a three year project, Boise State says they've mapped the hot spots to target this puncture vine. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline talked to one of the researchers today and the map isn't quite out yet, right? It will be early next month. They okay. do have all their data set in line. The city of Boise funded this data to be to integrate this information into a comprehensive map. And it's a welcome development from cyclists who say they're dealing with these goat heads far too often. Bike ability makes Boise hard to beat with so many places to go. Quite a bit all over. But Eagle, Shane Johnson all over the place, so as advice. Uh, I just stay on the trails. <laughs> I, I recommend that. Hey, or rather, a recommendation against these guys. No, go ahead. So yeah, they're all over the place. They hurt if they, if they poke you or you pull them out and you stick yourself and stuff, and they obviously poke their tires, so it's not fun. Cyclists know this to be true because the puncture vines puncture plans even knocking cyclists it's kind of a mess back on their feet. Yeah, actually we had to walk home, get our car, come back and pick up my, my wife's bike because it got like, oh, the tube got all tangled up and everything from being popped. It got BSU professor Trevor Coughlin popping the question to find cyclist solutions because it takes one to no one. My research group here at Boise State is working on targeted control for goat heads and hopefully lead to a better chance of eradication across the city. It's an effort already spearheaded by the annual Goat Head Fest. The removal of over 10,000 pounds of goat head across the city. But three years of his research mapped out 60 miles of paths and trails on GPS. And it shows us some areas are overlooked. Areas with lower property value tended to have more goat head. BSU says the map detailing these hot spots will be available next month serving as a valuable resource for Goat Head Fest volunteers. Because in the meantime... Oh yeah, it'd be great, but we'll see. <laughs> goat heads are just getting in the way. If you go off-road, be prepared to patch your tire. Coughlin says goat heads are native to the Mediterranean area, and they came to Boise around the early 20th century. And if you see a goat head weed and you want to pull it, Doug, they say to put it in a plastic bag and then throw that in the garbage. If you put it in compost, they say that's going to create more problems. Because the goat heads, I mean, those are actually the seeds, right, that end up spreading it yep. all around. So that's uh, how I understand it. Maybe that's a Jim <laughs> Duthie question. I don't know. We'll call up the local horticulturist. Right. All right, Andrew, thank you very much. Still